The Accelerator Podcast is here. I'm your host on tap, Monty King, inviting you to leave ordinary in the dust. Every next level of our lives demands a better version of ourselves. Our guests will inspire you to close the gap. What doesn't happen by design happens by default, so the content on tap is created for listeners to learn and grow. Visit us online at whatsontap.tv or find us on your favorite podcast platform. If you're listening on Apple Podcasts, tap five stars and drop us a review. Hit the notification bell to never miss an episode and share your favorites to help others outrun the status quo. Let's get started. Welcome to the Accelerator Podcast, where we find content that helps our listeners learn and grow. I'm your host on tap, Monty King. And today, my guest is Andy Hedrick, who joins us to explain how he's helping clients in the trucking space cut operating costs through fuel reduction. Uh, If you're not familiar with Andy, uh, he's an entrepreneur to the core. He's the founder and CEO of Trucking Tower, which helps companies accomplish more with less time and money. Um, He's also built an amazing network in the transportation industry, and he's passionate about helping others. Um, for me, Andy is kind of like the um, Vince Gill of transportation. Um, you know, he's, he's from Oklahoma uh, to, you know, loves to help others. His skills are with networking and his ability are similar to Vince Gill's skills on the guitar. They're just world class. Uh, and he does a great job of using his tenor voice to connect others and provide solutions all across our industry. So, uh, this guy's awesome. If you don't know him, uh, we'll give you some opportunities to learn how to connect with him later. But if you don't know him, you should. Uh, Andy, welcome to the show. How are you doing, my friend? Wow. Thank you for that awesome introduction. I, I was thinking, who is the person he's introducing? But <laughs> I guess that's me. Uh, you know, it's been a lot of fun getting to know you, Monty. I've had you on my podcast, the Trucking Tower podcast, and I really appreciate you having me on today. Yes, sir. And I'm excited about this talk. I've been thinking about it. Um, so let's just dive right in. So tell us about Cyber Fuels and what led you to partner with them. So let's start there. Sure. So I've worked in supply chain technology for 27 years now. And in the last six years, has been focusing on fuel and emissions reduction. I met Cyber Fuels last year and they have a blended fuel and additive set of solutions and a green technology campus that's in development. And basically what we're doing is reducing fuel and emissions. And, uh, and, and I'll talk a little bit more about that, but I met their executive team last fall. We started doing some things and then um, I started rolling fleets out across North America with great results. And so we just uh, keep, we're just keep on going, keep on trucking. Awesome. Awesome. So let's dive into the actual product itself. So talk to us about the product, how it works and the results that you've seen based on the case studies that you've been able to do for current clients. Yeah, absolutely. So we have blended fuel plus additive solutions for diesel, gasoline and maritime fuel. And we're averaging 20 percent fuel reduction and an average of 22% reduction in emissions at the combustion chamber, which means less problems with diesel particulate filters or scrubbers, all the after combustion technologies that have been added to reduce emissions coming out of the pipes. Um, So we're reducing fuel consumption an average of 20%, reducing emissions an average of 22% at combustion. This product also cleans the carbon out of the engine. It lubricates the engine. It has ignition improver. It's actually got six benefits built into one, which is tricky because normally you can go into a store and see cetane boosters and lubricity increasers and so forth, but they're in six different bottles. We've got six in one, in one product, and the chemicals don't cancel each other. So that's the tricky part. And uh, so we're getting great results with fleets and excited to be working with them. So in addition to reducing basically the cost of fuel, right, um, since, since your, your additive is, is helping with that reduction, what is the impact it's having on the equipment itself that you've noticed? Yeah, absolutely. So 
less DEF fluid, so less diesel exhaust fluid, less diesel particulate filter shutdowns. There's a big problem in, in North America and around the world, really. The new tier engines have diesel particulate filters that come in after combustion to scrub the air. Well, if you've got dirty air coming off the engine, you're going to have particulate filter problems and shutdowns on the sides of the roads for a trucking fleet, for example, if that happens, when it happens. Um, it's about an $8,000 field repair. Plus, you have to figure out who's going to take my trailer and deliver it to my customer. I may lose revenue. I may have detention charges. There's a number of knock-on things that happen because of that problem. So we're basically cleaning the air coming off the engine to reduce those repairs and maintenance after combustion. And we're saving companies anywhere from 26 to 95 cents per gallon of fuel. Wow. Wow. Can you give us any uh, specific results um, that uh, that you've experienced uh, with your current clients? Um, I, I know you've kind of high level in general said it's about this, but are there any specific studies that you can give us or, or tell us about? Sure. Uh, we have a fleet out of Florida where we did an 11 engine test where we took a baseline for 15 days. We do a clean out cycle, which cleans the engine out. And then we have a test cycle and they got 30.39% miles per gallon increase. Yeah. So that's a really uh, interesting one. Uh, and on that one, their engines are a bit older than average. So the older the engine, what happens is miles per gallon decrease over time. As mm -hmm. carbon builds up in the engine, you get more friction and heat. Um, it just makes your miles per gallon go down with time. So we've got that, um, and that's actually on our website and landing pages and so forth. And then we recently rolled out another one in Illinois, for example, that got a 20.84% mile per gallon increase on 2020s, so 2020 model trucks. Wow. Uh, and uh, so it's anywhere from low end, you know, 15% upper end, like 30.3, you know, percent. So in the average, we're at uh, 20% reduction. So what, what would that translate into for like the, the miles per gallon? Yeah, I mean, so we'll go from like taking a uh, six miles per gallon truck and make it a seven and a half or a seven mile per gallon truck and make it an 8.8 .8 or 8.7, you know? Um, but it basically equates to an average of 20% improvement in miles per gallon. Not to mention all the other benefits of, from the maintenance perspective and everything else that we spoke about. So that's pretty fantastic. Right. So where can um, truckers pick, a, pick this product up? Is it just in any random store? Do they need to go to the website? What's, what's the best way for somebody to get their hands on some of this? Yeah, uh, our website is truckingtower.com, and you'll see CyberFuels as a partner solution. You can go there, get signed up, uh, and we'll work with you, whether you're a fleet executive with a fleet of trucks or a fleet of marine engines or uh, generators, you know, uh, but you can basically go there. You can do a 15-minute meeting with us, and in that meeting, we basically look at your fuel consumption, and we'll do a net savings calculator with you. So what is the opportunity? And then you'll have a, a feel for what the dollar amount is in net savings. And then from there, we just talk about who, what, when, where, where do you want it delivered? Uh, who's going to do what? And uh, just set up a project basically. So at that time they can, you know, order as much or as little as they want to give it a test or if they're, they want to, you know, just continuously order in bulk. Uh, they order it directly from you and, that's the that's the access point to be able to get it Is right that correct that's right yep absolutely go to the website <clears throat> it's a 15 minute zoom meeting you know it's 15 minutes to walk through what it is how it works and then we talk about where where do you want it delivered who's going to do what um, we've got multiple uh, lab and field studies on that page so you can see what other fleets and um, like Olson Ecological Lab out of California. They're the ones that ran the emissions test on combustion. So they're the ones that showed 21.9% emissions reduction at combustion. 
But you can see field studies there and then just click a link there and uh, book a 15 minute. We'll talk it through. And then basically from there, it's where do we go? You know, where do we need to sit? How many trucks? Um, and all of that sort of thing. And we love doing field tests, frankly, with companies because it gives us more and more data, right, of other fleets and what they're getting. So we love doing field tests with clients. Well, so let's talk about how that how our audience can get in touch with you if they don't know you already. So where can they, how can they email, phone number, website, LinkedIn, give us all the goods on how we can connect with you. Sure. So uh, truckingtower.com, you can go there. We've got a contact us page. We've got a 15 minute Zoom there. Uh, LinkedIn, I'm all over LinkedIn quite a bit, as you know, Monty. Uh, so Andy Hedrick on LinkedIn at Trucking Tower. And uh, my email is andy.hedrick at truckingtower.com. Awesome. What is the one thing that you would want our audience to really know about the opportunity with cyber fuels from it, from an ROI perspective, it looks like it does more than pay for itself. Um, aside from that, is there anything else that you really would just want to encourage someone to, to check it out? Yeah. I mean, for all these uh, companies that are wanting to go greener, right. And they're not ready for hydrogen or electric or, you know, those things uh, that cost more money, frankly, um, we can help you move your ESG goals forward while saving you money. And that's the thing that's different. We're a green technology company and we've got all kinds of things in the works, but um, we can help a company go greener while saving money. And that 26 to 95 cents per gallon of fuel is what I normally lead with, right? Because they're used to, oh, we got to buy a truck that has diesel particulate filters and those trucks are, 15,000 more than the older trucks. And we have to then use DEF fluid and we have to change those particular filters. It's like cost, cost, cost. Mm -hmm. And what we're saying is we can help you go greener with a net cost savings. That's the big difference in what we're doing out there. That's awesome. And that's certainly a, a, a differentiator if I've ever heard one. So that's fantastic. <laughs> awesome. Well, well, we go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I was just going to say it's an exciting time. Really, really fun. I love working with fleets. I've been really fortunate, Monty. I've worked with 70 of the top 100 fleets in America. And it's been a 27-year career, and I'm so thankful to the trucking industry, uh, the maritime industry, the rail industry, everybody that's moving these products. Because if you look around, everything we have was delivered somewhere, Right. And without that um, economy, without that supply chain economy, we would be in bad shape. So I'm very thankful we're able to, able to help. You know, we love being able to help um, and uh, just basically bring it to the supply chain industry and help the supply chain industry reduce costs and operate more efficiently, basically. Absolutely. And what um, I would also submit you know, as I do the commercial insurance side uh, on my side of the fence, what you're doing also has an impact on moving the needle from the rate on the commercial insurance, which we'll talk about on your show another time. But um, the impact that you're having is exponential. And that's the part that I, I want to make sure everyone understands is this isn't an additive that you see on the shelf that you go get uh, or six of them, as you mentioned earlier. This is an all-in-one, uh, and it's going to impact your, your bottom line in ways that you can't even imagine. Right. Absolutely. You know, I appreciate you bringing me in, Monty, and talking about this. But you're right in that. That engine that you've been running around is clean and lubricated, and you're getting the mile per gallon improvement. So the resale value uh, of that or how long you keep that truck on the road changes with this. Yeah. So. Is there a downside? I mean, I'm trying to find one. I, I can't really find one. I mean, it just, it seems awesome. I think it's the land of and. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> as this and that and that and this. And that's really why I was super excited to partner with Cyberfuels, frankly. Um, we're getting amazing results, and there's really no downside. Uh, we've treated over 60 million gallons of fuel. We're public, uh, Cyberfuels is publicly traded. Um, growing, 
doing amazing things, and I, I don't know that there's a downside here. Awesome. Well, let, let's do this. Let's, um, let's transition real quick to what I call the tap five. Now, these are five questions that I want you to give either a one word or one sentence answer to. Uh, they're simple, so don't worry about it if, if you didn't have time to prepare. Um, so let's get started. The first question is, what is the worst operating cost savings advice that you've ever heard for, for a trucker? The worst ever? <laughs> well, I heard a company once say, we've done all these things with wind flaps and trailer fairings to, re to improve the aerodynamics of our fleet. But I, I talked about combustion chamber. They're like, well, we've already done all these aerodynamics. And I was like, well, that's a different thing right? So uh, I just told them, you know, basically we're talking about combustion and the engine itself, not the wind flaps and the trailer fairings and so forth. So I found that to be very interesting. And that person was really just stuck on that. So mm -hmm. that was interesting. Well, on the flip side, what's the best operating cost savings advice that you've ever heard? You know, I've seen some fleets that are really doing some cool things with retaining drivers through driver performance of their engine that they can control, right? Mm -hmm. So they're giving them incentives to drive that uh, truck, that big rig um, efficiently. And there's all kinds of tools and reports and so forth. That is um, really neat because there's a big time driver retention problem and a driver recruiting problem. Well, when you incentivize somebody and you say, thank you, you're helping us and we're going to give you some of that back. That's really nice. Uh, I think that's a good idea. That's awesome. I, we're going to have to talk later about that. I'd love to learn more about that. So that's a fantastic idea. I love yeah, that. it is. It is. All right. So the next one, why is Oklahoma's nickname the Sooner State? <laughs> so that goes back to the, basically the founding of Oklahoma. There was a land run. Okay. And everybody was supposed to line up and then go out and stake their claims on land. So what happened was some people cheated and left early. <laughs> so they went sooner than everybody else. And that's the Sooners. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. So I, I, I've got to know, have you ever been to the annual book, uh, Bigfoot festival? I have not. I've, you know, I've seen some big shows. It's very compelling, but I have not been to a Bigfoot event yet. I, I heard that in Eastern Oklahoma, they, they host one every single year. So I was just curious if you know. <laughs> Oh man, I, I, I could go on and on about some uh, different documentary shows that I've watched and things I've seen and heard. And you've seen the footprints and uh, the little video clips and what in the world is that? And then the howl from the forest and it's like there is really some compelling evidence out there for these big, big feet, I guess, or Bigfoot, uh, you know, animals, whatever they are. It's really compelling. <laughs> that might be a, a, another pod that we'll have to do as well. So we <laughs> do that for another topic. But yeah. all right, last one. And this is the best one of all. Who is the greatest professional wrestler of all time? Ooh, I'm going to have to say Hacksaw Jim Dugan, I think it is. Is that right up there at the very top for me? In the, in the South, we, we pronounce it Duggan, but Duggan. we'll go with Duggan if, if that's good for you. Yeah, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, he's right up there at the very top for me. You know, there's a bunch of them, but he's right so up there. So what triggered you to think of, of, of Jim Duggan? What, what was the – was there a moment where – You know, it's funny, Monty, because – we used to watch professional wrestling growing up, and I have two brothers. What we would do is we would start pile driving each other and drop kicking each other and so forth. And my parents said, okay, uh, no, no more of this. We're going to turn this off. You are not, we put pillows down, but we broke a table. I mean, we did all kinds of stuff. And Hacksaw Jim Duncan was one of those guys, that character that he's just um, in character all the time, of course, and just, made you you want to watch made you want to drop kick somebody <laughs> so then you've got to do your best hacksaw jim duggan impression for us Let's oh my gosh okay you ready 
Are we on camera? We're on. We're rolling. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I just remember him always going. Oh, yeah, absolutely. He did that, too. He would do this thing where he stomped, you know, and yeah. he would do the thing where he put the chest out. Oh, man, he was he, he was one of the best characters, you know, I feel like. There was a bunch of them. You know, it's hard to pick one. Jesse Ventura, Hulk Hogan, uh, just there's been a bunch, but he was right up there at the top. <laughs> well, if you would have been in professional wrestling, I would have had to have called you the, the Vince Gill of professional wrestling. So um, <laughs> I think uh, transportation probably fits Vince Gill a little better. So, uh, Andy, it's been a pleasure, man. I always enjoy speaking with you. I look forward to the next time we connect. Um, anything, any one last comment or anything you'd like to deliver to people, make sure they know how to get to you. Um, you've got a podcast as well. Would you like to talk about that? Yeah, I've, you know, Trucking Tower Podcast. We've recorded 119 episodes so far. Uh, it's been awesome. And, Monty, uh, you've come on the show, you know, and we're going to have you on again. So yes. um, I really enjoy talking with you, you know, collaborating with you. Um, I really appreciate you having me on the show. Absolutely. Andy, thank you. Audience, go connect with Andy, get on his website, email him, call him, connect wherever you can on any social media platform. Thanks for seeing or thanks for joining us, Andy, and we will see everybody again next time. Thanks, Bonnie.